Oh my God. Did you know there's a bird bath in here? <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> There's also a much more visible Mojo making his cameo appearance. Big, fluffy, adorable kitty. God, I love him. Anyways, I promise there's a bird bath in here. Look, I'll show you. I absolutely love my flowers and the whole wild meadow thing we have going on in this part of the garden, but I did not expect everything to get so tall. <laughs> it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, and it supports a ton of insects and bees, but I would like to see stuff better. And of course, cutting plants down, it's just not an option. So we have these stones that we were using for another project, and they're no longer needed there. So these are future bird bath supports now. <laughs> but first, I gotta be able to get to it. Okay, that's better. Now I gotta move stuff out of the way and get to work. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Now we can see you again. Oh, but we're not done yet. What about all that grass I cut down to get to the bird bath to begin with? It goes right back in the path to help keep in ground moisture and keep the path flat. Plus, I'm lazy. Finally, I can see my bird bath again. And hopefully some birds will see it too. <laughs> if you want to see more content about a tiny little Belgian garden gone wild, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!